see you then. I want you to look at your screen right now because we've all been in this situation. A flooded road. Do you risk it? Do you play it safe? Well, we're going to face that dilemma again over the next couple of days, as April mentioned, and the wrong call could cost you a lot of money. News 3 reporter Penny Commit is live this afternoon. Penny, I know you spoke with a mechanic about how driving through that water could really drain your bank account. Yeah, Blaine, I mean, not just cost you a lot of money, but it could really end up totaling your car. I know I couldn't believe it when I first heard it either. And I'm going to get to why in just a second. But first, I mean, look at what a difference a few hours can make. If you were with us this morning, we saw inches of water during this morning's high tide and we're expecting to see something similar as April mentioned later this evening. Now take a look at some of this video from earlier this morning. I mean, drivers just accelerating through this water, putting their cars at risk. I spoke with Willie Martin. He's the owner of Martin's Auto Repair, who says that these cars are pretty lucky they didn't stall out. If you don't keep your foot on the accelerator and it starts to hesitate, you're kind of dead in the water. So it doesn't take much. Once it can't breathe, your exhaust lets the car breathe. And if water's going up the exhaust, it can't breathe, it's going to cut off. Now, once your car can't breathe, Mr. Martin says that you can probably count on it being totaled. The mechanic told me that if your car sits in water for too long, it will short circuit your electrical wiring, which runs through the floor of the car. That means your lights, your windows, air conditioning, all of that won't work along with many other things. And even if you can temporarily fix the issue, which will cost thousands of dollars, Martin says the water damage will linger and most insurance companies just think you're better off getting a new car. Driving through flooding will also cause water to be sucked up through your tailpipe and then this will flood your engine, kill your power. And Martin says you have about a 50 50 chance of that totaling your car. So after hearing all of this, I asked the mechanic, is it safe at all to drive through water? He said yes, but with caution. He gave me a great litmus test. He actually says, depending on what type of car you have, truck, SUV, look at your tire. If the water is about halfway up your tire, that means it is unsafe and you should turn around. So obviously trucks, he said, are going to have a better chance getting through flooded areas. But again, if you think the water is about halfway up your tire, you're better off turning around or you could be getting a whole new car. Now we have more on this flooding coming up all day and night on WTKR, so be sure to stick with us. But for now, we're live in Norfolk. I'm Penny Commit, News 3.